Hey everyone, so I am having a caterpillar problem with my Kajari melons right now. I wanted to give you an example. I actually have this problem with um, all kinds of melons and squash and um, I tend, I've i started to use BT and I think that it's actually helped a lot, but we've had a ton of rain lately. So I've been having to spray it a lot often and, and I'm probably gonna have to continue to do that for the next couple months. So let's take a look. So you can tell that this plant is um, getting eaten by these leaves missing holes, as well as you can see black dots here. Um, that is the poo from the caterpillars and the damage that it is causing here. Let's see all that webbing there. Um, you can look out for these caterpillars um, if you want to hand pick them in these tender areas right here. I've picked this one already, so let's try and find another one, I think. Oh, hello. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, butterfly problems. Um, right here, hello. So you see all that being eaten, all that discoloration? That right there is the culprit. So you can just smush these, but I I prefer using BT. Um, when they eat it on soft-bodied insects like caterpillars, um, it just it kills it, and it's a natural way to use it. I prefer to use more natural methods as much as possible, so I don't um, deter the pollinators and uh, like bees and butterflies like you just saw. Um, so I hope this helps. I'm basically going to just use my spray bottle right here. I use two tablespoons of BT per gallon of water. It's not going to harm them, but you want to do it in the afternoon, um, like the late afternoon or very early morning. Um, that is the, I guess the best way I've found to use it without burning your plants during out the day. So I hope this helps. I hope you have a great day, guys.